Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own custom skin and put it into Minecraft Pocket Edition, Bedrock Edition, Xbox Edition, um, really any version of Bedrock Edition Minecraft. I'm here on Windows 10, but this should work for most other versions. So you can see here my cool uh, Tuxedo VR guy that I made, um, that I was able to put in, and you can look through the skins, and it is there, in the skins, and all these other skin packs that are here, but, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, so you're gonna wanna have Minecraft open, I feel like that should be a given, um, but yeah, make sure you have Minecraft open, and then head over to Google Chrome, and go to Planet Minecraft, so I will leave a link to this in the description of the video to the uh, maker that I'm using here. But I'm going to go ahead and go to Planet Minecraft just to show you guys. I believe, yep, I am signed in. I just recently made an uh, account. Um, you need to have an account for this as well, keep in mind. So here is my skin, Tuxedo VR is what I called it. Um, but all you have to do is go to skins. Now all this, all these skins that you see, these will work with both uh, PC, like Java Edition, and Pocket Edition, Bedrock Edition. Um, so if you just wanna go to skins and then go to 3D Minecraft Skin Editor, and it'll say start and help and tips. I'm gonna show you some tips. So I'm gonna hit start. So this is a skin that I was working on previously. It does sort of save your progress. I don't know what I was doing here, so I'm gonna just erase some stuff. So uh, you can add and remove whatever you want. So I'm gonna just unclick that. Um, so here you guys can see I have this little pen tool. So this is smooth mode, so you can like drag and draw whatever you want. That looks really weird. And then you can just hit Control Z to undo. There's also undo and redo here. So I can leave it like that. And then let's say I wanted this to be red all along here. I could draw that. But let's say that I want it to be the textured red, sort of like how, oop, didn't mean to do that. Sort of like how I have the rest of the body. So I just click noise mode and I can change the noise intensity. So I'll set to 26%. And then if that looks a little bright, I can go to here and make it a little bit darker. And then boom, there we go. Now I have that. So I did the same with like the little white. It's supposed to be sort of like a beach towel person, but I don't really know. And I have the little eyes. I can make part of the eye blue if I wanted to. And that looks kind of weird. Anyway, you can sort of mess with this and then I'm gonna click that and then, so if you wanna click anything, it will remove that part. Um, so you can get into there. So I haven't done that part, so I can just go to, Start with red, and I'm not gonna actually full on do the rest of this guy here. I'm just gonna show you guys what you can do with this. And I'm gonna go to white and then go this whole part here, and then this whole part here. Oh, and I got a little there, so I'm just gonna undo, redo. It's a bit of a finicky process, but it is pretty cool. And then if you want to add like outline, you can click this. So let's say I want to add sunglasses. I could just go down here and draw. I don't know really how to do Minecraft shades, but I'll just do that. And then a little line going back Oop. and a little line going back. So let's see if that's even. Yeah, so then you can unclick the little helmet there and it will disappear. So that's going to be like your little overlay thing. And you can do this with any part of the body if you want to. So if I want to give him a bracelet or her, give them a bracelet. I can, oh, I don't know how to do a bracelet there. They have a bracelet. So I'm just going to get rid of that bracelet. But you can do a lot with this little thing. So if I wanted to not have the sunglasses, I could just erase that and then I could unclick that. And if let's say I wanted to remove the smile, I could do that. And let's say I wanted to use the exact shade of blue here for the mouth. So I could do that and I could go to this and then just go around like that. I'm not being very clear with this. Uh, you can right click to look around, left click to place things, 
and then I think I've covered most of it oh yeah and you can go like square brush so if I wanted there to be a whole blue line across the body do that that no, I don't want that you can also do a circle triangle and then I don't really know what the magic wand brush is oh right so I could click on this and it would fill up that area anyway this is a really great tool for this kind of thing so I'm just gonna stick the little blue mouth and then put a squiggle on there I don't know I'm not really paying much attention to this but you can make it look like however you want so let's say I want the mouth to not be colored but then it's colored on the outside I could do that and I want these lines here I don't know oh well okay well, I'm just messing everything up here aren't I and then like that all right so let's say I wanted this skin you'd want to go to file and then save to file and then that will download as a PNG and then all you have to do is open Minecraft click on the little hanger click choose new skin give it a second and then over here you should be able to see this is the one that we just made so you can hit OK and you can choose whether you want Alex style or Steve style so this one's made for Steve style and you can see that the little outlines and everything is there so I can hit confirm whoop that one's still there okay well I think it hasn't updated there but it should update once I open up a world so I'm gonna open up the command zone world just because this is the one that you guys are probably most familiar with and we're going to see how this turns out so uh, planet minecraft has a lot to offer all the skins on there are compatible with this version of minecraft and you can make your own which is super cool um, the one I made previously is uh, the one I'm going to be using from now on, the VR Tuxedo, but if you look and see, look, boom, my weird looking stripey, not clown thing is there. So there's a lot you can do with uh, this, and I want to see what you guys create. There's a great community around it, a lot of people creating all kinds of awesome stuff. Let's see if I can fill up that block. Nope. Did I do it? Well, I think I put one over it. Anyway, uh, f make whatever you want in here. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. I I'm bad at outros, so bye.